we kicked off our New York City study tour with a sequential art workshop facilitated by James Romberger, an American fine artist and cartoonist known for his depiction of New York City's Lower East Side. The goal of the workshop was to think in sequence to illustrate a story. With comics, you can do a full-length film or have everything you want in the picture. This is what attracts me most with comic illustration. Our assignment was to convey our own story through comic imagery. We learned the process of making comic drawings and the different mediums available for comic creation. Senya Samarskaya has a broad range of experience in the design industry, including installations, interactive environments, type design, apps, and branding. She also creates unique themed dinner parties. Her work is research-based, and she likes to communicate her research through design and user experiences. She continues to sketch her ideas prior to execution on the computer. Senya told us to learn what jobs are really worth it. Learn to read the signs and say no. Sometimes it's easier to specialize in an area of design. That way you can get further. Mindy Belloff of Intima Press and Letterpress Designs is a photography and painting major from NYU. She says there has been a stronger interest in letterpress over the last five years. One of the many successful projects from Instima Press was the Congress commissioned recreation of the Declaration of Independence. In addition to letterpress, Mindy is also involved in bookbinding, writing poetry, and glasswork. She gave us a tour of her studio and a demonstration of her press. Frank Olinsky is a mixed medium artist, illustrator, and enjoys constructions. Frank was the original designer for the MTV logo. This opened up many opportunities for him in the music industry. Frank worked on record covers for Duran Duran, the B-52s, 10,000 Maniacs, and many more. When designing for music, he listens to the music and the visuals arise. Today, Frank is focusing on being an independent consultant. Sam is a cartoonist and illustrator. He didn't get much out of art school, so he joined the Air Force and went to NYU on the GI Bill. He wanted to be an artist. Sam remembers everyone in the class being so much better than him. He just didn't have the gift until later. Tom Gill, a friend of Sam's, asked him to teach a class, so Sam did it. Tom called him again for teaching assistance, and he's been teaching ever since. Sam left us with these final words. If you teach and want to teach well, leave your ego at the door. Ben Couture grew up reading comic books. This introduced him to fine art. He also took figure drawing classes. He tells us, I always thought I could create comic book strips for adult sensibilities. Couture has illustrated over five musical productions. He uses TV paint, a leading paperless drawing and animation tool able to imitate traditional techniques such as pen brush, gouache, watercolor, pencil, felt tip, and airbrush, and animate them over frames. Up From the Stacks is just one film produced by Couture. When we asked him what he plans to do next, he told us, I'd like to do theater with more singers involved and create larger productions. A large influence during his childhood was his artistic family. His famous uncle, pop artist Andy Warhol, was one of them. From an early age of watching his uncle illustrate shoes, James wanted to be an illustrator. He then moved to New York City to hone his own painting skills. James has done work for Mad Magazine, Garbage Pail Kids, and illustrated books such as Well, I Never, Bubba the Cowboy Prince, and Bigfoot. As a tribute to his Uncle Andy, James wrote and illustrated Uncle Andy's and Uncle Andy's Cats. Ouija, Murder is My Business, exhibits Ouija's work as a crime and event photojournalist in the mid-1930s. He captured images of newsworthy events and distributed them to the press. He set the standard for what is now tabloid journalism. His work is shown as original presentations as newspapers and exhibitions, as well as his books and films. A partial reconstruction of Ouija's studio was also on display. The gallery was founded by Richard and Joanna Rothberg, both artists working in all craft media. The gallery showcases the work of talented artists working in wood, clay fiber, metal, and glass. A variety of work and prices are represented. Unusual gifts, decorative art objects, furniture, sculpture, art glass, and jewelry are all on display and available for purchase. The gallery is located in Manhattan at Times Square Hotel. You can visit the gallery online at anamericancraftsman.com. We finish our New York City study tour with a review of our winter assignment, Reinvent the Wheel.
We're all designers or illustrators with different job functions and a wide variety of expertise. That diversity works to our benefit by giving the group valuable input and feedback from many different points of view.